Hello everyone, welcome to One Stop Mathematical Solutions. So let us start with supremum and infimum of a set. Okay, uh, what is a supremum? Supremum is nothing but the least upper bound. If you have a set of all upper bounds, and this is the least element, and infimum is nothing but the greatest lower bound. Okay, so uh, let us say the small s is a supremum so what are the things needed it should be a upper bound and that upper bound should be a least one so what is the con condition for upper bound that every element in the set uh, let that set be a okay so every element uh, in a for every element in a x uh, should be less than or equal to the smallest so this is the condition for upper bound and what is the condition for least thing so let this be a set a so my s is here we have already seen that all the numbers greater than s will also be an upper bound right so this is an upper bound what makes it the least so if i take any other number here it should not be an upper bound right so this is not an upper bound uh, let me name it as s minus epsilon so uh, because we are uh, taking out a small positive quantity here if this is s we are taking out something um, from s so it is s minus epsilon so that should not be an upper bound for upper bound what is the condition every element should be less than or equal to s for not an upper bound there exists an element which is uh, let us say y which is not less than or equal to s s minus epsilon right so the condition for least is there exists element y in a such that y is greater than s minus epsilon okay so these two are the conditions for a number to be a supremum of a set so similarly what it meant as a infimum say a t is said to be a infimum of a then there are two conditions right first condition will make it a as a lower bound second uh, second one is what makes it as the greatest lower bound okay so for lower bound we know the condition um, every element uh, for every x in a x is greater than or equal to this t right and for uh, it to be a greatest there exists a y in a such that y is less than t plus epsilon the same thing here if, uh, if this is our set a and t is our lower bound t plus epsilon a small quantity epsilon so this should not be an upper bound sorry lower bound right this is a lower bound this uh, should not be a lower bound so which means this shouldn't satisfy the condition for lower bound so why uh, why should not be greater than or equal to that is why should not be greater than or equal to t plus epsilon which implies y should be less than t plus epsilon we can find such a y that is the condition for greatest okay so uh, this is uh, these are the definitions of infimum and uh, supremum of a set so let us see some results based on this okay so first result is if a set a has a least upper bound okay it may or may not belong to a So it doesn't mean that if uh, set has a supremum, it should be in the A. It may not uh, belong to A also, right? So for example, uh, let A be 1, 1 by 2, 1 by 3, etc. Okay. Okay. Uh, for this, uh, what are the um, upper bounds? Upper bounds are 1 and any number greater than 1, right? And the lower bounds are 0 and any number less than that 
it, it these are any number greater than 1 any number less than 0 right so what is the least upper bound least is of course 1 and here what is the greatest lower bound of course 0 right here the least number the uh, supremum is in the set belongs to a but the infimum doesn't belong to a we can see that there is no zero here okay, next result is if a and b are bounded then a plus b and a minus b for these two sets we are going to uh, define the supremum and infimum okay supremum of a plus b equal to supremum of a plus supremum of b and uh, supremum of a minus b equal to supremum of a minus infimum of b and uh, infimum of a plus b equal to infimum of a plus infimum of b infimum of a minus b equal to infimum of a plus sorry minus supremum of b and uh, supremum of lambda a equal to lambda times supremum of a if lambda is greater than zero okay if lambda is negative then this is lambda into infimum of a similarly infimum of lambda a will be lambda into infimum of a if lambda is positive and lambda into supremum of a if lambda is negative okay these are the things that can be useful in CSAR gate exams okay let us see one more example here let uh, capital B be minus 2 3 minus 3 by 2 minus 4 by 3 minus 5 by 4 etc okay so this is actually nothing but minus n plus 1 by n where n is in natural numbers so this set will look like this 0 here 1 here maybe 2 here so minus sorry minus 1 minus 2 so minus 2 and minus 3 by 2 will be minus 1.5 so this will be here and minus 4 by 3 maybe somewhere here and it goes on like this so the supremum is minus 1 and infimum is minus 2 right and the minus 1 is not even in the set but minus 2 is in the set thank you see you next time